Target Hardening and CCTV. Target hardening is whereby you look at the physical environment and the, 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 the way that things are laid out and then you consider what impact that might have on either reducing or indeed providing opportunities for crime and disorder to happen. In 2022, Torbay Council was awarded £750,000 from the Government Safer Streets Fund to discourage antisocial behaviour in the town centre. So when we look at target hardening from a safer streets perspective, we're considering what can we do, what changes can we make that will both reduce the opportunity for crime and social behaviour and also help people feel safer within their community. Torquay is a safe, low crime area, but has some well-known challenges. A lot of the areas of antisocial behaviour and concern are very well known across Torquay and, and wider Torbay. The project aims to reduce opportunities to commit antisocial behaviour in key locations and to make people feel safer. We knew key areas that people are concerned about and that we ought to address. Secondly, the police conducted an environmental visual audit which was done by specialist crime reduction officers which helped pinpoint various interventions that would help make improvements in the physical realm um, that could be funded by Safer Streets funds. The council has already delivered 45 sets of security doors, 33 new gates and 11 window grills in Lower Union Lane and Union Square car parks, as well as eight CCTV cameras. So through the Safer Streets Funds, we've also managed to install numerous new sets of doors throughout the car park. Historically, we've found that uh, vandalism has been a massive issue. Since these new doors have been installed, there's been a significant reduction in instances of vandalism um, to the hardware within the, the car park. The council has already delivered additional and better street lighting in 45 locations. This is an area that fits very much within the, the, the core mid area in terms of antisocial behaviour. Part of the funding enables us to make grant allocations onwards to community groups who want to do some sort of work that uh, uplifts the visual impact within their area and instills a sense of pride of place as well. One such project here behind me um, relates to the building of the Community Development Trust which over the coming weeks will see a new mural wrap around the building. We were very pleased to be able to support the transformation um, of this, this great building um, not just for the benefit of the Unleashed Theatre Company and its community-based aspirations but also the incredible visual uplift that it's given this area which was incredibly run down in Torquay. You look at it now, it's clear, it's vibrant um, and it's being used. That's really within keeping of the target hardening philosophy. The council has already delivered a redesign and improved planting to established flower beds at Factory Row has made a huge improvement to how the area is used. So behind me we have some flower beds which are right in the heart of Castle Circus which is commonly known to be an area of concern for antisocial behaviour and it has also been a, a congregation point for lots of people and we were keen to in, uh, inject a visual lift to the area and in so doing we've had new plants and also the brickwork around each of the, the raised beds has been improved as well. People say it looks better and they feel safer. We've had loads of really positive feedback. Um, it's very clear that residents and businesses have been happy with the works and also we have seen uh, a very swift and noticeable decrease in any congregations in and around the, uh, the area where the works have been conducted. The council has already delivered 13 extra CCTV cameras, two new mobile units and improvements to the control room. So the investment for Safer Streets has given us 13 more cameras which we've been able to put into areas that we previously didn't have cameras which means we can now follow offenders longer and get hopefully get security or police resources to them. This is one of the new cameras that we had installed, it's on Limington Road in Torquay. As the test goes there, we have shoplifting issues. The camera itself has got very high resolution and would stand up in court. Not all CCTV images are grainy and they can be of a high definition quality. We've had a CCTV system in Torquay since 1997, so we're talking 26 years plus. We use the cameras proactively to monitor areas. We also might use it to monitor reactively, so we pick up on vulnerable people, get resources to various people that might need it, offenders running off. The main benefits are collecting evidence for production in court, um, monitoring live incidents and being able to get 
a response to the incident at that time. So we've got about 300 plus cameras covering the town centres, civic buildings and car parks. 50 street cameras within Torquay, about 20 in Paynton and about 10 in Brixham. So I'm stood at the corner of Castle Circus, Torquay by the Town Hall, under one of our new cameras. This is the new camera up here, part of the Safer Streets Fund and um, it was installed as there wasn't a camera in this area. So the work that has been conducted to date, we can consider to be a success. There is a very noticeable visual uplift to a lot of the areas that we have improved. Funding has been allocated to new community projects. More improvements are planned soon. We have some more works planned down throughout the town centre, which is focusing on empty shops and raising uh, the visual profile of those shops. Uh, to ensure that there are better graphics within there and it, again it's about that visual feel to help people look and feel safer and more confident in their community. Thriving Torquay, taking action to create a vibrant castle circus and harbourside.